Hey, what is up guys? It's Gino here and welcome to your first iOS app without any storyboard. And today we're going to cover the topic basic auto layout, uh, table view, initialization with closures, and of course the navigation controller and the search bar. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. Hey, what is going on guys? So before we start off, I want to show you how the app works. So basically we have a search bar here at the navigation controller and at the navigation bar at the top. And when you type in anything you want, then the table view right here is going to filter filter its data based on the, the written text here. So we're going to say New York or just York. And it will check if it contains the words and filter it based on this on these fil uh, on these filters that you set it. Okay, so get, let's get it on. So first we're going to create a new project. We can call it ho however you want. See the filter, beginner, like so. Create it. And now we are going to delete our main here. This is a reference to our storyboard that we don't need because we're doing everything in code. And we gotta delete the storyboard as well because we don't need it anymore. And now we can actually delete all the stuff that we don't need. And we're going to create a new function. We can call it setup UI. It's a pretty fitting name for its functionality. And it's going to do it like so. And we're going to set our window to be the same size as our screen size. So we have the parameter frame. And we're going to set UI screen.main.bounce, which means, hey, put my window at the same size of my screen. And to make it all visible, we're going to set make key invisible. And now we are going to create a variable called view controller. You can call it however you want, but this is a pretty good naming, um, which is of type view controller. Right? This is this view controller. So this is going this view controller is going to be our our entry point in our application. And to make the navigation bar at the top possible, we have to wrap it all in a navigation controller. So we're going to set a navigation nav controller variable like so and call UI navigation controller and we've got the root view control parameter here and we have to just have to pass it like so. And now we are going to set the root view controller equal to our nav controller and to make it all possible that it's on a screen we're going to uh, we're going to just call the function and to show you that it is working we can make uh, we can set our background color of the view to let's say red we can delete this because we, we said we don't need it in right now and let's run the app let's see how it turns out all right as we can see we are having a a red background right here and now we are going to create a table view with closures with a closure block so we can name it however you want the table view is of type your table view and this is important you gotta have an equal and then uh, brackets and here we can call it let table view you can call it however you want this is only uh, valid in this block and we're going to return the table view like so and at the end I'm going to do have to do this to make it all instantiate itself and now here we can do whatever we want with the table view so we don't have to put it all into viewed it load or something so it's very clear and very uh, nice and very nice way to do it I'm going to set the delegate to self the data source to self and these these lines are, are are necessary to have our data be shown on our table view I want to register our cell like so and with an identifier we can create identifier here call it let cell ID equal to cell ID whatever you want and call it like so cell ID as you can see it is having problems it is giving an error and that is because it is a, it is a let 
we, we need a lazy var here which means that it is lazily loading and it is getting the variables or setting it whenever it is needed so if you have a let it's going to create the table view at the start or uh, at the initialization initialization of a view controller but with a lazy var it's going to create a table view based on whenever the code needs it so it is still giving me errors and that is because we need to conform to the protocols that are necessary to make it all working so we're going to extend our view controller like this and call table view delegate ui table view delegate and then ui table view data source okay now it's gonna don't nag nag me anymore and now it is saying hey you don't conform to the protocol you are table view data source and that is because we need to implement the method cell for row at and the method number of rows in section for now we can return zero uh, one row in a section because we're only having um, we don't have an, an, a data source right now so we can manually add uh, the rows and here we're going to create the cell that we are putting in our table view we can say table view dot dq reusable cells because the cells are always being reused and then the identifier is going to be the same as the at the top here and just kind of call index path that we got as a parameter here and now we can just return the cell like so all right now the only thing that is now uh, that is needed here is oh wait forgot we can set the text label dot text equal to whatever to see if it is actually working um, when we run this it is not going to work because we haven't added the table view to our view yet we have created the table view but we have not added it to our view hierarchy so what we can do is say view dot add sub view and then table view and this is since this is a basic auto layout tutorial as well we are using auto layout to lay out our views in our code so we are so this is very much important you have to set this line before you can actually use auto layout because it says hey use auto layout instead of the regular uh, the, the regular layouting that it is using okay so now there is the standard way of saying hey we wanted my top anchor to be constrained to the view the top anchor and then we'd have to activate every single constraint like so I'm gonna show you real quickly like so but this is very tedious and it is not efficient at all what we can do instead is <clears throat> put the constraints into an array and then activate the constraints all at once so we can say table view dot top anchor which is at the very top of our table view um, anchor it to the top of our screen basically and the same is going to be with our table view dot uh, left anchor which is the leading anchor I really recommend you use the leading anchor because it is also recommended by Apple you can read why I don't have enough time to con to con uh, explain it here and the same is going to be that bottom anchor the very bottom of our table view is going to be constrained to the view dot bottom anchor and now we can activate it by doing it like this I'm gonna call ns layout constraint and then we have uh, a function called activate now we're just gonna pass in the constraints that we have here and it is all activating itself just gonna turn it back to white so we can actually see something and now let's run the app and see how it turns out wow 
All right, as we can see, it is being rendered on the screen. It, I just like to make a few adjustments to our auto layout. It is not visible right now, but I'll show you later. For now, let's do the same with our search controller. We want to instantiate a search controller. We're gonna say lazy var search controller UI search controller and then call it let search controller is equal to UI search controller and then return the search con search controller like so. It's important that you here you have to take uh, choose the parameter of search results controller and set it to nil or else it won't show up. Okay, um, yeah, so this time I don't have to do auto layout or some, or anything like that. Adding a search control is very easy, a search bar to our, to our view, to our navigation bar. We just have to say navigation item dot search controller equals search controller. Easy, right? Now let's run it and see how it turns out. Okay, as you can see, there is a search controller controller here, but I don't like that it is dimming the background and it is pushing up the search bar. So you don't have to disable it, but I want to show you just in case you want to do it. So first, we have to call the dims background during presentation and set it to false. That uh, disables the dimming of the background as it says in the name. And the second property is search controller dot hides navigation bar during presentation and set it to false as well and when we run it it's going to have it turned off and you can do it at two if you want you don't have to but I just really wanted to show you how to do it okay and as you can see it is now working as expected um, and now we just want to fill our table view with the data that we are uh, with the cities that we specify hey what is going on guys thanks so much for watching part one of our tutorial and in this tutorial we learned a lot of things we've learned how to use auto layout with our table view we've learned how to set static data for our table view we've added a search bar to the navigation bar and we've used closures to initialize variables and in part two of our tutorial we're going to tackle on the filter function so we can filter the table view through our search bar and we're going to add dynamic data to the table view. So I'm looking forward to that and see you in the next one. Bye bye.